Next question is, how did basketball shape you as an entrepreneur? Um, I could go on about that one for a while, so let me take a sip of water. But it shaped me a lot. Um, the whole sports is a metaphor um, for life. Um, is sort of you know a played out idea, cliche, but it's played out and it's cliche because it's so true. Um, and I learned a ton, absolute ton from it. Um, some of the biggest things that I learned were around hard work. So realizing that um, it's not enough just to work hard. You need to work harder. And working harder is a competitive thing. And so you need to think about who else is trying to do uh, what you're doing, who else is trying to accomplish what you're accomplishing. And knowing that talent plays a piece of it smarts plays a piece of it but I'm a huge believer from being around a lot of successful people and being fortunate to have been around a lot of successful people that the biggest factor in determining your success is the hard work that you put in um, and uh, I have a friend who uh, a very close friend who plays in the NBA and we were on vacation together um, and this is a, a lesson that I learned from him about hard work um, we were on vacation together in the off season and uh, we just landed um, it was our first evening um, in uh, in the Bahamas and we said you know what let's uh, we're all tired let's go up to our rooms and, and crash for the night so we did and the next morning my phone rang and he called me and he said hey did you hear what happened and I said no no he said meet me in the lobby so I went down I met him in the lobby and he said I just signed um, I just signed a new contract um, he's a free agent uh, when we landed, now he had a two-year deal. Um, it was the biggest deal that he'd signed. He signed a two-year, $24 million deal. So I'm thinking to myself, man, I went upstairs and ordered room service. He went upstairs and became $24 million richer. Um, and I was super excited uh, for him. I said, oh, man, that's so great. Congratulations. Um, you must be so relieved. Your first big, big NBA contract, that's got to be a lot of weight off your shoulders. That, that's awesome. And he looked at me, and I thought he was going to kill me. And he said, relieved? What are you talking about? Now everyone's going to think that I'm overpaid. Now I have to work even harder to convince people that I'm underpaid. And we're on vacation. The first thing he did that morning was, was go get a workout in, in the gym when everyone else was hanging out at the pool um, and hanging out in the water. And so I really learned that you know, these people who you see that are, are really successful and that are at the top of their game, um, are oftentimes the people who behind the scenes, they may look at easy, they may make it look easy, but behind the scenes are the ones who work the hardest. Um, and I think basketball shaped me that way in that it really taught me to work hard when no one's watching. Um, it taught me uh, how valuable um, team is. You can't do this alone. Um, you need to figure out how to use the strengths of all of your teammates. Um, to come together. You can do a lot more collectively than you could ever do as an individual. Um, it taught me, sports taught me about management and learning from coaches and see how they run a team, seeing how good coaches run a team versus how bad coaches run a team. Uh, I learned a lot about management that way. Um, and then the last piece um, about how basketball probably shaped me as an entrepreneur um, is just competitiveness. I'm a really competitive guy. Um, I want to win. I always want to win. Um, and, you know, that's a good motivating factor. Um, when it's, you're up late at night or early in the morning um, and you're thinking about, you know, what am I doing or why am I doing this or I don't feel like it. Uh, my high school basketball coach taught me that um, it's the people who work hard when they don't feel like it. Those are the ones who are successful. Um, and that's always stuck with me.